our fear is getting evacuated of this place, leaving our genealogy behind, our lineage behind, leaving our family remains behind, having our life become a history. My name is Yesem Mosby. I'm from Masig Island in the Kulkalgal Nation, the central part of the Torres Strait, between the tip of Australia and Papua New Guinea. I'll walk out, I'll show you how far uh, where the island used to be. So this particular area here was in the bush. It all had big trees and everything here, which is all gone now. through her remains has been scattered we are still looking for her what we found we tried to save her these are bones of my grandmother under a little tree to see that in my lifetime is is heartbreaking we, we are witnessing the, the change I think that this is a really important and creative effort to better link human rights with the impacts of climate change. It's not always the case that countries follow the Human Rights Committee reports, which are intended as recommendations for countries and are not binding. However, they are persuasive for other courts um, and for other legal bodies. I think factually, the sea level rise in the Torres Strait lends itself to a case such as this in very stark terms. We've been free here for thousands of years. Our fear of getting moved off this home, off our home is scary. We didn't contribute nothing towards the fossil fuel and uh, all the burnings and hustles and bustles was happening around. We, we didn't contribute nothing. But yet we're at the front line and getting the impact of everything. Now uh, it's not right. Were the Human Rights Committee to rule in favour of the Torres Strait Islanders in this case, we would have on the record the very strong recognition of the impact that climate change is having on human rights. This would be a signal to Australia and the rest of the world that in order to comply with our human rights obligations, we do need to mitigate climate change and increase our responses to the urgency of the problem. As we're waiting, a home is being eaten away. Something has to be done right now. Don't wait for till the time where we're going to be, you know, moved off and be refugees in our own country. Save it while you can now. 